Our next guest is Laura Spector. She has a way of life I admire. Where is Thank your you. studio located? My studio is in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Up northern Thai? Northern Thailand. It's an old ice cream It's an old ice cream factory? Yeah. Why did you get up to Thailand? Well, it's the 10th country I've been working on this project uh, called Museum Anatomy. And it was the 10th country yeah. that okay, I went Museum to. Okay, Museum Anatomy. Exp explain that, what that is. Okay, Museum Anatomy is kind of a search for unknown paintings that exist in museum storage depositories. Right, and believe they're big. Yeah, and they've been, they've been in storage for about 100 years. They're all 19th century paintings. And what I do with my collaborator, Chadwick Gray, we go into museum storage, and we find these paintings of women and they're hidden for various reasons. Some of them are political, and some of them are curatorial decisions. Well, we what take kind of decisions? Curatorial. Sometimes curators. The, the, I don't know, it's not, yeah, the politics of museums. Yeah, and right. you know, mm -hmm. so, um, And what we do is we take an image of it, and I recreate it onto his body in one sitting. So sometimes they take hold 8 it, to 15 hold hours. It, hold <laughs> it, hold it, hold it. Let's back it up here now. You go into the museum, into the archives where it's dark and dingy and all that. Some of and them. You, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> and you take pictures of paintings of women's bodies. Well, they're paintings, so portraits that Paid were created women. of women. And you take a picture, most likely it's digital, you mm -hmm. enhance it, and then you do what with it? Well, I take the picture, I print it out, and yeah. then I recreate it onto my collaborator's body in paint theatrical paint. All right, this is the first picture. Okay. Does this guy have a problem we don't know about yet? <laughs> Stiff limbs. Why do, you put it, why do you put it on his body for? Well, one reason is it's changing the gaze. So it's, it's taking the, home? the gaze. So the gaze? In, traditionally in 19th century paintings, it was the man painting a woman. So it was the gaze of the woman. Now it's a woman recreating on no Well, okay. always. Yeah, I know. All right, but now wait a minute. You, he sat down there and you painted this on him? I painted this on him. It took about 12 hours. This one's about 12 hours. This is Ave Maria, and it's from a gallery in Palermo, Sicily. Huh. All right. I hate to ask the next question. Now, what, what did he do after you painted him? Took a shower? Well, or it's what? ephemeral, so you wa I take a photograph of it to document it, and then it's washed off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you up for it? Can we? Well, we you know, well, <laughs> <laughs> Depends what parts you want to paint. Okay, now this one is. This is um, Yaroslav Pincus. It's a Czech painter. Yeah. And it's a girl tending to the geese. And you put it on the bottom of his foot? It's on the bottom of his feet. He got flat feet, hasn't he? No, this point. This is a <laughs> thing. All right, next one. And that's, this is girl in window. This is from Greece. And you can see the girl shares the same eye with his eye. So we find coincidences with the painting and the body. Okay. The All right. Next. And this one we did for an art fair in Texas, the beginning of the war. And this is a recreation of Picasso's Guernica. Mm. Where'd you find that painting? That one is in Spain, in the Prado. Yeah, and we got. It was in storage, though. No, that one was an exception. Okay. It was an exception. Right. I was wondering yeah. what we'll be second in storage for. Okay, next one, please. Um, this one is from Japan. This is a more recent one. We started doing work in Asia since we've been in Thailand, and this is a detail. And I've seen the faces. So there's two faces. You can see it repeating. Yeah, right. Where's his? That's his nose up there. In that's the his nose, and it's almost touching his knee. It's kind of a contortion of sorts. Yeah, right. How does this guy has patience with you doing this? <laughs> a lot of practice, 10 uh, years. Those, those paints are safe to put on the human body? Well, so far. The green leaves a little yellow residue for a few days. Do so you date this guy or are you just... <laughs> <laughs> Next picture, please. There's the full view of it. So you saw the detail before. This is the full view. You have a very unique style here. Well, thank you. A little weird, but unique. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one, next one. This is Montenegro Woman with Child, and this one has a little bit of a history to it in that um, the painter, Cheramac, uh, was painting his lover, this Montenegro woman, and they had a child out of wedlock. He was a uh, court painter uh, and wasn't allowed to marry her. So he was painting, he painted her into a lot of his paintings, but this one is so prominent, they're embarrassed by it, so they keep it in storage. Hmm. Wow. And then this one is actually the same painter 
Chermak, and this is a portrait of his sister. And this one also has an interesting story in that they lost the original painting. They lent it out during the Second World War for safekeeping after the war it was gone. So they gave us a black and white picture of it to recreate. Recreated it, put it on the internet, and about three years ago I got an internet message from somebody who saw it on the internet who was living in Canada, and he said, this is a portrait of my great-great-grandmother. I've never seen it before. That's my grandma. But the original was yeah. never found. Right, exactly. So it went through this. Now, where did you paint that on the body? Go back to that last one, please. Uh, well, we'll do, okay. This Please. one, okay. Paint so on his knees or what? If you see the arms are crossed across the knee and then the other hand is over the ankles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay. So this Got one it. is, so it's going through, uh, through the process of 19th century painting to photography, painting on the body, photographed again, and then on the internet. So it's spanning the course of technology as well. Next. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is St. Catherine. This is one of the first ones we did with um, the University Art Museum in Berkeley, California. And um, this is an older painting, actually. This is St. Catherine with the wheel, and she's uh -huh. sharing the eye as well. Where did you get this idea from? Well, we were doing performance art to start with, and all of our performance art was site-specific. And so we were challenged by a curator there, Larry Render. And he said, well, we're going to have a museum did you, show. Did you, use a did you use a slide projector to project it on him? And I'll use Start, start, but it's like yeah. painting a three-dimensional yeah. sculpture, so yeah. it only does so much. You uh, know? As long as he's not ticklish, I guess he's doing all right. <laughs> he's Next. Doing this is Sun Goddess. This is from Greece, and this is when I first started introducing other figures into it. So there's many, many men. And may make them multiple. All yeah. right, next, please. And this is the booty. This is also a, Greece, a Grecian painting, and I'm taking a portion of the painting, <coughs> and I'm enlarging it to the size of the body. So you work so, on that angle. Yes, yeah, so and now I'm changing now scale. Now, once you make these pictures, do you bring those pictures to people? I sell are they prints. Them? Yeah, yeah. We'll have exhibitions, and then I'll sell some how, prints. How big are the prints? Well, actually, we were doing it so that the prints were the actual size of the original painting. So mm -hmm. some of them are enormous. You know, the Ave Maria is about six feet tall. Hmm. Um, but now but you I made it what on a, on a color print paper. Or um, what? It's called Vibrochrome. It was Vibrochrome. at the time. Oh, using that technique, yeah. <laughs> at the time, it was a new technology. But yeah. now there's so many different technologies to play with, so we can further the process. But do, how long does those things hold up in time? Well, they they say they're archival for 100 years, 150 you years. Spray them? No, they're mounted on plexiglass. On plexiglass. Yeah, front mounted. Oh, okay. yeah. Where did you just start this uh, training from? Um, well, for, for, uh, from the performance work, we were doing paintings, but they were solid colors. And it got really boring for me. It wasn't very challenging so at all. So you started putting the faces on. Yeah. Ah. And then I really ah. got into painting people and kind of but learning about them. But you never took them. formal classes. Well, I did. I went to university. But, yeah. but at the same time, you don't really, I mean, you learn the, the tools, yeah. trade, but you don't actually learn how to apply it necessarily. Ah. So it's, it's evolved. It evolves. Yes. And I think all of the work that I've done with Museum Anatomy is... So you're is kind of unique within yourself, then. Yeah, Nobody else so. does this. Not that I know of. No, not yet. But not they're going to get down the idea. Painting on the body and you wash it off. Yeah. But it takes how long to put on? 12 hours? Anywhere from 12 to... Well, I would say 8 to 15 hours is our longest portrait. Well, you have a fan to dry them off? Or what? Well, it dries really fast. It's theater well, it makeup. Is, it is. It does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How's the food over in Thailand? Food is amazing from all the, a wide variety of foods? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a lot of Western food. It's becoming very, very Westernized. A lot of Western businesses are opening up over there. So and it's what do they manufacture in Thailand? Or what do they service? Everything, everything. So I mean, everything from the clothing. Thing. They're very service oriented, so they yeah. do a lot of, you know, massage and spa yeah. things. Yeah. But, you know, everything from garments to home decorations. So it's, they're just diversified like China's. Yeah, and it's uh, fun. It's beautiful. You go over there and buy a bunch of stuff and bring it back. Do you go to the temples? I did. I did when I first got there. I was going quite a bit. What did you think? I thought they were really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Are you they know, maintaining them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's right. For a while they weren't, you know. Yeah, it's, a, it's a way of life. I know. Okay, Laura, I thank you. Thank you very, very much. Very informative. Very educational. <laughs> Being painted? I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> we'll you. be back.